can you take someone that's never voted, never paid taxes, never attended school, never got a degree, never understood how to pay a mortgage, balance a budget, and you're going to tell me that you're going to take this person who's been completely dependent on this state, a legal means of slavery, by the way, in order to run their life. Unfortunately, this is the disinformation campaign that people have to deal with on a regular basis. Um, the writings that I do and, and the music that I make deals with youth incarceration a lot. It deals with the ideology that people who are running around the street right now, they're not looking for fortune, ladies and gentlemen, because they know there's no fortune in the street. They're not looking for fame. They know there's no fame in the street either. They're looking for the most unlikely thing that you would ever think they would, whether it's a gang member or a, a, a wild cowboy from the ghetto. They're not looking to, to be immortalized in a, in a story. They're looking for love. And I'm going to say that again because it seems ridiculous to me to say, but it's the God's honest truth. Someone willing to fight 20 other people because they're wearing blue and he's wearing red, that's not out of the need to prove anything to anybody. There's no camera on. You're not in front of Hollywood. You're doing that because you love the brothers that you came up out of the dirt with. And you're doing that because you love the people that you have around you because you've grown in camaraderie with them. And all gangs, unfortunately, have a lost revolutionary past. Because people from the days of old got together and said, well, let's talk about how America's really structured. You know, the difference between black and Latino immigrants and the European immigrants that came has a stark difference. And why? It's because we've been fed this mythology that people from Italy or from Greece or from parts of Eastern Europe came here and just pulled themselves up by their bootstraps. Why can't y'all niggas do the same thing? How come you Latino people can't get it together? Well, here's the difference, ladies and gentlemen, that when people first came to the country in the early 1900s or before that, when illegal immigration first started in 1492, I think that it's important for us to know that a lot, a lot of people uh, had not just applied for citizenship, but they also applied for whiteness. And that plays into the racism that the doctor was discussing before. In other words, if you did not apply for